All right, um, helmet to helmet hits. For one thing, I thought they were outlawed. I thought you couldn't do them, but for some reason, in this one youth football game, eight and nine year olds, there was this team that was doing it quite a bit. And uh, the ref just sat there with his hands in his pockets, did not throw a flag the whole game. And what I think this team was doing, and I, guys, I don't blame the kids and I don't blame the coaches. The main person I blame is the refs for doing this because once you throw a flag or two, they're going to quit doing it. But coaches will push the envelope to see what they can get away with. Kids will push the envelope to see what they get away with. And if they're not calling flags or they're not throwing flags on these kids for doing this, then they're going to keep doing it. Now, I've got this video out. I'm going to fix on the plate. It's in slow motion. See how many helmet to helmet actually crown hits that you see that they're doing. And what I could see is off the line, they're actually putting their head down and ramming uh, the more smaller kids to shake them up, um, maybe get rid of them. There's a couple of plays in here that are really bad. Um, you can actually see that every kid that makes a tackle leaves with his head down. Now, I don't know if the coaches are teaching these kids to do this, but you got to look at the safety of the kids. They teach you everywhere to hit with your head up, not with your head down because you can have spinal cord injuries. So they're at actually putting these kids in danger later on because they're the way, this is the way they're teaching these kids in youth football. Now, I don't know if it's in your area or not, but here in Texas, especially around San Antonio, I see this a lot. So look at this video. See how many head-to-head -head hits you can see where the guys actually lower their crown and go after the other players to hurt them, to put them out of the game. 